of your compassion wipe out my offense. Against you only have I sinned, 
and done what is evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your sentence, vindicated when you condemn. Indeed, in guilt was I born, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity and honor, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. And we are sick with this son, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be wiser than snow. Let me hear the sounds of joy and gladness. The bones you have crushed shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my guilt. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me now from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take me out from me. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Pleased with sacrifices, should I offer a holocaust, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. Be bountiful, Lord, to Zion, in your kindness, by rebuilding the walls of sacrifices, burnt offerings and holocausts, then they shall offer bullocks on your altar. Now for the and for the praise and glory of the Most Holy and Trinity, glorious Trinity, let us pray and beseech the Lord in mercy and pardon. May we be worthy to offer praise, thanksgiving, worship, exaltation, and honor to the Holy One, who gives holiness to the sanctifying mysteries and exalts the sacramental ministries. To the high priest who showed us the way of purification by first purifying himself in the waters of the Jordan. And led us on the path of life to redeem us from our sins. To the good one our due glory and honor at this time and at all times, celebrations, hours, days of our lives, now and forever. Amen. O God, in your love you became flesh, born of the Blessed Virgin in a wondrous manner. You who offered us your gracious Father for adoption as his children through water and the Spirit. You who fashioned children in their mother's wombs, yet you willingly became a child in order to renew the image of Adam, aged and corrupted by sin. You renewed him by the holy and spiritual fire of the baptismal furnace. Although you did not need to be baptized, you came to its waters in order to sanctify the waters of the Jordan. 
O Son of the Majesty on high, you bowed your head before John the Baptizer. The Father proclaimed and thundered from heaven, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove and rested on your head, while the spiritual power stood watching in awe and in trembling. Lord God, now extend the right hand of your mercy upon your servant who is prepared for holy baptism. Sanctify, purify, and cleanse him through your forgiving his soul. Bless and protect your people and your inheritance. You have clothed us through your baptism with a robe of glory and with a seal of the holy and life-giving Spirit and called us to be spiritual children in the second birth of holy and forgiving baptism. So now enable us by your victorious power and with the confidence of me, loving children, to glorify you with joyous faces, your Father who sent you to redeem us, and your holy and life-giving Spirit, your living Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy are you, O God, in your eyes. saints and lives and abides in them in the dwelling of his divinity. Sanctify our bodies, souls, and our minds through the descent and action of your holy and divine spirit and make them the dwelling of your divinity. Purify our hearts by the hyssop of your mercy. Enlighten our darkened minds by the abundance of your clemency. Gather our spirits and our thoughts away from the corrupt, corrupting errors of this world, which is filled with sadness. Then we will thank, adore, and glorify you for your mercy toward us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Kadishat,
The sea beheld and fled, Jordan turned back. The deeps were also troubled, and the clouds poured out water. Your flock, O oh Jesus, stands at your door to receive your seal. Shield the children who are sealed, by you from all and prepared. Thanks for your forgiveness. Reading from the book in Titus. Reading from the letter of Paul to Titus. I read from the letter of Paul, the Apostle, of our Lord Jesus Christ to Titus at this holy baptism and before our Father, the priest. Glory to the Lord of Paul and the Apostles, who proclaim the world, the word to the four corners of the universe. May his prayer be a tower of protection for this place and for all its inhabitants. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of the deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of his own mercy, 
by the washing and regeneration and renewal in the Holy Spirit, which he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in the hope of eternal life. The saying is sure. Praise be to God always. For the proclamation of the gospel of our Saviour, announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for your mercy, O Lord. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John, who proclaimed life unto the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. The Apostle John writes, now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. And he came to Jesus at night and he said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. No one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. And Jesus answered and he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. And Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? And Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. This is the truth, peace be with you. Receive baptism 
and confess your holy name, we implore you. O Lord, answer us. The prophet cries out, Alleluia. The prophet cries out. The daughter of the king stood with splendor, splendor, and the queen on her right side in great glory. Baptism is the daughter of the king, and the church is the faithful queen. The church descended to be baptized and was adorned by baptism. She received the groom who betrothed her as a pledge. The Lord accepts our baptism. Blessed are you, O Lord, O mother of all people. You call to yourself those who are hated by all kinds of evil. You have said to them, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Now call your servant in patience and Jesus to the Holy We will be 
Yeah. 
dyeing his waters the sacred mirror in the name of the Father life of all the living
Tertius, Tertius, is anointed as a member of the flock of Christ, the living oil of divine anointing, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Ignatius Sergius is baptized the Lamb in the flock of Christ in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For May God who granted you to bear his living seal, enable you to keep it in innocence for the life of your soul, and keeping your conscience and body pure from stain and your soul holy, may you be able to call the Father our Father. As he made you worthy of this holy birth, may he make you worthy of life eternal. You have been clothed with the living Father. You have received Christ the Son. And you have put on the Holy Spirit.
Your arm be given the robe of glory. Which Adam laid aside. So we do at the end of the darkness is that there's a procession. Our Lord comes out from the abyss on this day of the resurrection. And we go around, but you can see normally it's got icons and the symbols and you got drums and Everything else uh, is very much common this evening. We're just going to recite it as we walk around the church. Yes. 
into the waters of baptism and Christ sanctified and entered them. The heights and the depths paid him honor. When he came out of the waters, the sun lowered his rays and the stars went down in adoration to the sanctifier of all rivers and sources of life. The Lord is filled with power and might. Hallelujah. Who have seen two sisters of great beauty, the forgiving baptism at the faithful church. Between them lies a great mystery. One gives birth, the other rears. But baptism begins within the waters. The Holy Church receives and presents at the altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Who is she who begins from waters? The old enter them and become newborn. She forgives faults and absolves sins. This is the true baptism. John proclaimed it, and Christ entered it for the salvation of the world. Alleluia. Now and forever, amen, alleluia. I greatly marveled about John and Eleazar, two servants obtained two brides for their masters. Eleazar, servant of Abraham, betrothed Rebekah by the well of Aron, and John betrothed the church by the Jordan River. Sinners enter it for baptism and come out victorious.